Good morning, gentlemen. Thank you for coming. This is the sixth master class in the series. Let us begin with Dr. Kreider. For many years, patients have been mesmerized in the hope of a cure for their illness. Dr. Kreider was fundamental in this. It's just occurred to me that no patient has ever been mesmerized in articular mortis. The moment of death. <laughs> Remarkable. It is an unaccountable omission. Unquestionably, there are many points to be ascertained, such as the susceptibility in such a state to the magnetic influence, or, or whether the encroachments of death would be arrested by the process. lungs are entirely useless, and I suspect an aneurysm of the aorta. In my opinion, he won't live much longer than midnight on the mower. Lucius, dear chap, will you make notes of the experiment? Are you willing, Mr. Valdemar, that I should make the experiment of mesmerizing you in your now condition? Dr. Perkins, I'm quite willing, even anxious, for you to have this experiment made. I urge you to commence it now. Well, I propose no objection. The patient is already in the death agony. Indeed, he is in an unusually perfect state of mesmeric trance. Mr. Valdemar, are you asleep? Asleep. Still feel pain in your breast, Mr. Valdemar. Oh, oh, no pain. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. He's still. Carry on. Uh, speak to him again. Let me see him respond. Mr. Valdemar, do you still sleep? Mr. Valdemar. Do you still sleep? Mr. Valdemar, do you still sleep? <coughs> so sleep. Dying. Well, he appears apparently tranquil in his present condition. It is my opinion that he should be left undisturbed until death should supervene. Good afternoon, Lucius. Still no stench from the body? No. It's been months now. Six months and two days. Perhaps the time has come to... I 
there was none. Mr. Voldemar, can you explain to us your feelings and wishes now? Oh, for God's sake! I want you to sleep! I want you to sleep! Quick, quick! Awaken me! I said you I am dead! Dead!